All right, guys, I just released a video about cashing out, so I wanted to do a v quick video on tips and tricks. Uh, you do need to play for about a week, I would say a solid week of just grinding, no resetting, no selling, uh, before you actually sell. Uh, that will slow down your beginning profits at first, but in all honesty, it might help you overall in the long run. So we'll, what are we doing? We're clicking here and unlocking coins. And even though row 9 I could unlock fairly soon, I'm going to go ahead and sell it because odd number rows do not pay out Satoshis. So we're going to go ahead and sell this. We're not going to go over the specifics, but it does give you extra money uh, each time you sell. So basically if you are earning 1 per click, after all my boosts I'm now earning 1.47k per click. And one of my biggest tips is always do the quests first. Spend a few extra minutes in here. I gotta upgrade Shiv 400 times, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip a few levels and get some extra money going. And right now I do have the uh, $5 weekly pay uh, for the golden server. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not worth it. I'm gonna get it canceled, or, or it's set to cancel as soon as it can. But while it's active, it's active. So the multiplier underneath the piggy, we're going to turn to 100 and upgrade SHIB 400 times. Uh, now this would be a lot harder uh, early on, but once you get to the point where I'm at, it's not that hard and you just have to be a little patient to get through these. So open one chest, always try to make sure you have one ready to open uh, for when you log in. And if not, that's when you just call it quits on the quest and get to the end which we might get here soon. And unlock a new coin. We'll collect the, always don't, don't forget to collect the things that you see going across the top. I'm not so worried about the power-ups uh, myself, just mainly like the Satoshi there and the gift bags. So we need to earn Bitcoin and collect three managers. So even if it was my daily free claim, I could only get to, I can't do any more missions unless I spend my nodes. And I don't want to spend nodes on those because I'm saving up for a 12 times multiplier. Uh, I currently have an 82 times multiplier, which does not reset. Uh, speaking about resetting, you do want to upgrade these as you go, uh, but the super upgrades do not reset and they cost your nodes. Um, I do believe I'm going to be getting the pickaxe next uh, for the next one I buy, but I'm probably going to do the multiplier a few more times before then. Uh, so basically, now that all my missions are done, I'm just going to rush through to the end until it stops me completely and upgrade these as far as they can go. Just because it is easy, quick cash, and it's a small help later on but every little bit helps. And if you do have the the golden one who collects everything that passes by, uh, always make sure to have that one selected. And if you watch my Satoshis, like here on row nine, I did not gain any. On row 10, it may not change, but watch the uh, Satoshis uh, fly up there. There we go. And I actually have to make 10 in order to have that change. And I do believe it's either two or four Satoshis at a time. And let's see if we can do any upgrades here. And because 100 is getting to cost a little bit too much for those higher ones, we're going to go to the next two times upgrade. And just get those going and move on to the next. And so we're starting to slow down. No big deal. Not at the moment anyway. And anyone who's watching this is probably thinking, why haven't you done your multiplier for your bonuses yet? Really? Because it's still a fast click process. Not too worried about speeding that up, but we will go ahead and do it now. Uh, bit, uh, coin income bonus and tap income bonus is the only thing we have to worry about at the moment. Um, 
if you are playing the long game, you want to make sure your offline income is maxed out as well. And so now that we've done that, as you can see, I'm flying by on getting coins again because that was a huge percentage increase. And if you increase it as you go, uh, it's only going to give you a little boost and it seems like it's never going to give you any more of a boost after so long. So with that being said, how far are we? We're at row 8. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get that. There we go. So we got more Satoshis. We're at point or 1.86 at the moment. I do believe it was 1.84 earlier. And I want to sell. Like I don't want to play this game anymore uh, at the moment. So we're five minutes in and I want to sell. So we're going to have to wait 25 minutes. Go off game, watch a movie, get something to eat. You know, go potty the dogs, whatever it is you got to do. Uh, and then when you come back, sell it, start all over again. And also don't forget to collect any of these things passing by that are useful. And have that guy going. Uh, that being said, that's about the most of my tips. Uh, other than going to the shop. Uh, you do get Satoshis. You can find five every few hours. I believe it's four or five hours. Uh, I do recommend doing that. And beginning buys with the red nodes, I would say at first start focusing on chests. Uh, you need to get your managers or your coins going. Uh, once you get a couple coins upgraded, go ahead and switch over to uh, managers, wherever that would be. Um, doing 50 a few times would be beneficial. But if you've noticed that you've gained a lot of nodes, uh, go ahead and save up for the 120 and get that guaranteed one legendary. Uh, other than that, you do have events. Uh, this one I don't pay a whole lot of attention to. Uh, I do, there we go, times two, and collect. And this is why I went ahead and just uh, got it started because even though I don't pay a whole lot of attention to it, if it does this every time I come back, I'm eventually getting a handful more Satoshis and it's going to help me build up my savings. Um, but when you're doing this one, just like before, always make sure your offline percentage is up and your coin income is up. And I didn't really worry too much about the tap income because these coins do actually pay out better if you hit the uh, power-ups. And you do not have managers to do it for you, so it's really what you want to do. But I'd say spend very little time here. Uh, maybe get halfway up, uh, or a little bit halfway up the rocket to level 6 or 7. And then just let it go idle AFK and go back into it every so often. And since we have our chest, and we got a new XLM out of that, ready to evolve into the epic. And that gets me all my epics. I only have legendary left, so we're looking good. Um, with that being said, be smart, be responsible, and good luck.